Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Show Films. I am Sen, your executive producer. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Um, I particularly want to thank our $25 tier supporters over on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash fsfilms. Uh, those being uh, Jeremy Alexander, Samantha Bates, and L. Uh, without him, we would love to do nearly as many things as we do now. So thank you very much for your support over the years. Uh, and uh, those of you that are watching live, please sit back, relax, and enjoy. And we're live! Hello everybody and welcome back to Exandria Rising, uh, where cameras have for some reason swapped and I need to swap them back. Do do do. Who am I today? Hold music. Do do do. do cameras do, have swapped, do, but presumably do, do, audio is still muted. Yeah, no, do, audio is not muted. You're all audible. Um, I wouldn't mind being someone different for a stream. Nope, I fixed it. Oh. Uh, all right. So, <clears throat> I have the am, Freaky Friday stream some other some other session. I am Sen, the game master for the evening, uh, and I am joined this week by Shani. Hi, I'm Shani or William, and I am playing Najka Flame Howl, the uh, orc uh, craftsman. And Jeremy. All right, I'm Jeremy. Uh, I am playing Elafira. Who is a water genasi? I feel like, ah, that words. A water genasi, uh, uh, rogue. And Craig. Hi, I'm playing Grouper, a Lokatha druid slash animal pal slash sad boy. Sad I don't fish. know what you're talking about. Everything is good. Uh, and Jack. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm playing three goblins and a robot. Um, <laughs> Meanie, Manny, Gesby, and Pete, who are collectively a bard. Hell yeah. Wait, a bard? Yes. That's awesome. Okay. Being a robot. That's amazing. Um, and Holly. Bard bot. Hi, I'm Holly. I am playing Davina, sorry, I was about to say my last night's character. Uh, she is a totally sane, uh, mystic, silky folk. <laughs> just too much. Sun. It's just too much sun, guys. It's just too much sun. Oh, I playing the official, the the official Alexandria <laughs> version of two truths and a lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> the audience might not realize this, but funnily enough, um. Playing an insane psychic is kind of Holly's like go to on our Sunday games. So, <laughs> um, I mean, she's not an insane psychic. <laughs> when you get a trope you like, she's go totally sane. No, I was making a joke. Um, because you I said... can think of another character that's more like that, but not. No, not my current one. There's nothing wrong that was with a joke. Casting your characters. That was a joke based off of you calling her totally sane. Um, yeah, all my characters are totally sane. And Drevian. Drevian, I'm playing Tenebris, a Jerbean witch. Uh, as always, uh, Black Lives Matter and trans rights and human rights. Um, a cavalcade of fuck yous to a variety of people. And yeah. Some of whom Jeremy will not. Vince McMahon. Out. It's just a. Uh... Look, when it becomes too many, I'm just going to default to the one, which is Vince McMahon. There you go. Um, he stands in for everybody else. Uh, and this stream is powered by Sirenscape. Uh, when last we left off. Happy Pride. I want a t-shirt that Happy says Pride. love for every, million, every billionaire. Yes, Specif with a picture of a submarine on it, so no one gets confused. Yes. I was yeah. going yeah, to say that, that could be interpreted a number of ways. Yeah, that that's that's an entirely different book series. I believe it's called Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, yes, that was the one I yep. was referencing. Yep. But when last we left off, the uh, party that grew up together uh, and adventured as children uh, has returned and reunited after five years of absence uh, with things having gone awry. Uh, we are going to do a slight fast forward, just enough to get uh, Davina out of the rain and uh, a good night's rest. Uh, uh, 
where presumably uh, you will all have had, uh, you will all get a long rest and be able to reconvene in the morning since after calming Davina down, really the thing that was hitting you most, Davina, at that point was exhaustion. Uh, and then a, yeah, I still have three levels. You had sort of been stuck in a astral projection uh, to a degree, uh, and so you weren't really sleeping while you were asleep. Um, so now that you have the chance to get a proper sleep, you take it. Uh, question. Yes. Are we sleeping in the? Um, it's a church, right? Uh huh. Are we sleeping in the church? Or, you. Would you like to have been carried back to your parents' house, or would you like to have slept in the church? I'm going to say she slept in the church. Mm -hmm. um, how about everybody else? Where did, where did everyone else turn in for the evening? The church? No, she went back to her parents' house to sleep. There, there is the old, like, bronze washtub that has been dragged over beside the bed uh, where Davina is, and Grouper is sleeping in there in case she needs anything. Tenebris? Probably just at the church. Elapira? I'm thinking... <sighs> Is there? Is this kind of a kind of a, 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 a an isolated island community? So there might not be. But is there an inn? Yes, there is. Um, Ella, would, Ella would probably stay at the inn. Yeah. Yes, there is indeed an inn because uh, it's a trading post. It's a, it's a it's a trading post. It's a trading port. So okay, fair enough. Fair there are enough. People that will stay overnight in the inn. Um, when given the chance to stay at an inn rather than staying in a hammock that doesn't stop swinging, funnily enough, a certain percentage of people will take the bed. Um, Does Ella stop by her parents, or is that something that we wouldn't have any way of knowing? At this I mean, she wouldn't have said she was going to. Okay. Group or, or, or wasn't going to, so... Okay. Yeah, she wouldn't have said any. I think once things had calmed down uh, a, a, a little bit and and uh, Davina got got settled, I think uh, Ella would have stealthed away. Okay, to head to the end. Um, five copper for a room. Uh, okay. which I'm assuming you can afford. Um, yes. You all get a long rest. Um, Davina. Possibly because you've been in this weird sort of liminal space for the past five days. Um, or possibly just because now that you're out of it, your brain won't stop being active. You are mm -hmm. the first person to wake up. Mm-hmm. Well, second person to wake up. Um, because Pease also has a bit of an odd sleep schedule. Um, and tends to be awake at, uh, tends to be awake earlier than the other good goblins. Uh, if I'm understanding correctly, Jack. Yeah. Um, where would Pease be, uh, hanging out while everyone else is still asleep? Um, Pease is fussing with the Aeromaton. Uh, with the dog leaning on him. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, Davina, you sit. You just sort of sit straight up, waking mm -hmm. up to a sit. Um, and yeah, you're in a you're in the church. Everything is quiet. You do see that Pease is awake, uh, messing with uh, what you hadn't realized was there yesterday, but a uh, a large robotic s person suit thing. Um, that you're not super familiar with. Uh, or familiar with it all. Um, P seems to be doing maintenance or something on it. Uh, and has a dog next to him. 
and everyone else is still asleep. Is Javina hungry? Yes. At all? Ravenously. Okay, because I feel okay. Because you you're not currently uh, focused on your uh, adaptive body, so. Uh -huh. I I have a passive perception of twenty one. Would I have woken up when Davina got up? Not not yet. No. Okay. Currently, she's just gonna stay sitting on her bed. She is still trying to take everything in right now. And she will watch peas. If you uh, mechanically, if you switch your, and you're still on aura site right now, so you're sort of seeing everyone's auras. Mm -hmm. um, if you switch to adaptive body, you wouldn't be hungry anymore. Mm, nah, she's going to keep it on aura site for now. Cool. Um, yeah. Peas uh, notices that Davina's awake. If that matters for peas at all. Um, he'll turn around and um, just sit facing Davina and just watch her for a minute. She's watching you. What is what does peas aura look like right now? What what, what sort of emotional response is is Davina getting off of peas? He's feeling calm right now. Um, he seems to be, he's, he's trying to figure out how you're doing. Oh, should I roll? Yeah, give me an insight check. Like... Ah, uh, yes. We're good at this. Right. What's your passive deception, Davina? Unless she's got a minus two. I don't know. Two. Yep. So your your your, decep your deception score is two. Yeah. Okay. So then it's a passive of twelve. So. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, no. Uh, Davina, even in even in the uh, sort of slightly exhausted uh, state that Davina is in, hard to read. but apparently just staring at you. Mm-hmm. Which P's might read as uh, hard to read and staring. P's might read that as shell shock. Yeah, I think he would. Oh. Um. He's going to... He's going to walk over and um, put a hand on the bed. And you know that face people make when they're going to ask you a question? That face. Okay. Are they putting a hand on the bed or putting a hand on Davina? On the bed. Okay. Good. She just keeps staring. Um, he'll climb up onto the bed and sit next to you. Mm -hmm. Not, not touching. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Um, everybody's going to want to know what happened. Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell them. She'll open her mouth like she's going to say something and then shut it. Okay. 
just because they want to know doesn't mean you have to think about it right now. But I don't know where everybody's going next. If you need to go with someone because you're going to be scared all the time and you need someone to look at and see that they're calm. Because okay. that's how you can calm down. I, I will stay with Gupe. Make an I know about a oh, what? Go ahead. Uh, uh, Davina, make an insight check. Sixteen. Uh, what, are the, what is the Good Goblin's collective passive deception? Excuse me. Open the sheet. Uh, Sixteen. Right. That's means it beats it. Davina, listening to the piece, this is coming from a place of experience. Mm hmm. It's okay to be scared all the time. Because eventually you'll start getting breaks. And then the breaks will be longer than the fear. She'll just sit there, staring at Peas. Peas will um, scratch worm on the head and just sit there next to Davina. How long do the two of you sit there? Oh, until someone else wakes up or until a given point? For Davina, yes. Until mm -hmm. someone else wakes up. You know, Peas is perfectly comfortable just sitting in silence with somebody. Yeah. So we'll say Grouper with the high passive perception does wake up next, uh, probably shortly followed by Tenebris, depending on where the Tenebris is, um, and the rest of the good goblins who wake up in their own time. But yeah, Grouper, you wake up, stick your head out of the pool, Davina and Peas are sitting on the table, or on the bed. Okay. Wow, it's kind of like old times. No. Yeah. Yeah. I think clambers out of the, the side of the tub. Um, sort of stomps his feet a little bit. There would be a, a, a folded towel so he doesn't get everything immediately wet. Sort of pats himself dry a little bit. Tenebris uh, sleeping in the corner? Or not the corner, but like Tenebris in the same room? Probably. Okay. Or a lot of the beds, so you don't see tenebris, you just see a nest of blankets. Yeah, there, 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 there are rooms, but uh, Father Martin does not mind pulling, pulling bedding and beds into the into the central area uh, for people to sleep, because uh, uh, the Don Fathers, the the Don Father, uh, the Don Fathers adherents care more about taking care of people than propriety. That's fair. So, Cooper kind of kind of looks. At, at both of them on the bed uh, and says, well, um, I guess my go-to would probably be to get some breakfast going, um, unless you need anything else first. Do you feel like eating? Either of you. He looks back and forth between the two of them. Davina will just know. Look, Pease doesn't say anything about it, but he does look at you as if to because he's heard you. Oh, 
Gruber gives a uh, a big smile to both of them that doesn't quite reach the eyes and says, okay, um, I'll be back as soon as I can. Um, but you got, you know where I'll be. And he gestures down the hall towards where, wherever the kitchen is that Gruber knows and I don't. Yeah. Um, uh, Flap, uh, you stay here, okay? Uh, it's okay if she gets up on the bed. She's bigger than she used to be. A, a rotund seal flops up onto the bed. Yeah. Um, and then I will um, give give um, uh, I'll give Flop a, a a pat. Does Davina still? If it's if I can tell, does Davina still seem like she doesn't want to be touched? She no, she does not want to be touched. Okay, all right. And Grouper will just kind of pat pat flop. I know peas doesn't like to be touched in general, right? Yeah. Like he wouldn't he wouldn't get mad if you touched him, but it's just not something he's looking for. I, I thought that I thought your dog was a goat first <laughs> the way it came up out of the out of the out of the shadow. I was like, why is there a goat in your house? Um <laughs> why wouldn't there be? I mean, she is the they, goat. They don't generally stay inside, and the reason why is shit everywhere, Sen. Um, uh, Same with dogs. <laughs> no, because you can house train dogs. You can house train um, But um, anyway, so uh, then rather than touching either of them, he would pat flop and then reach up and just sort of like, at least in an attempt to be reassuring, pat the edge of the bed kind of between them. Um and then we'll uh, pad off on his big floppy feet down the hallway towards the kitchen. I will say it's not, uh, with, it, what with the catfish face, it is not unusual for Grouper's smiles to not reach his eyes because that's a bit of a distance they'd have to go. <laughs> I, I think, I mean, I mean, yes, of, of course I get what you're saying, but I honestly, I think, I think because the mouth is so big and because his eyes are like up here, I think when he's genuinely happy, the eyes actually sink in a little bit yeah, that makes sense. What what is Davina picking up on Grouper for uh, Aura? Um, in terms of emotion, mm -hmm. concern. I mean, there's like there's happiness, but con mostly concern. Okay. <clears throat> um. People are gradually waking up. Um, are you all okay? I was just gonna say, Grouper will go down to the kitchen and we'll try to make um, what everybody's favorite breakfast used to be five years ago. You find uh, you find that a sort of like a, a a buffet of food has already been prepared very recently. Um, okay, then, I mean, is that weird? Um, you know that Father Martin does like to cook. Uh, okay. And so you assume that he, without coming into the main room at all, uh, sort of slipped into the kitchen, made breakfast when he heard people starting to get up and move around, and then slipped okay. back out. Then I will, I will do my best to, um, make, uh, make plates for everybody with what, uh, grouper remembers that they like the best uh i would also i would like this to take me 10 minutes you take uh, so that if, if i if i can do so while I, I i figured i probably couldn't do it while cooking but if i can do it while just making plates um i would like to um take the uh um take the steps uh, uh the the chance and the and the motions to to ritually cast detect poison and disease sure uh yeah. in the food no, I mean it lasts for ten minutes. Oh, okay. uh, so okay. I would like to have it. So I, I just want to be able to see if anyone is sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can, yeah, oh. you can guess it. None of the food is poisoned. Okay. Yes, surprise. Oh, yes, Trevian. I, I, I expected Father Martin to kill us. Uh, no. The episode we had levels. <laughs> I, I will Martin say this: I wasn't expecting it to be, but that would have been a cool ass scene, like the th scene from the thing when he's putting that the blood in the one guy's stuff and it jumps. Yeah, no, Not gonna lie, I would have been here for 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 secret evil. Um, it, yeah, 
it's it's detect poison and disease, not just not detect Father Martin standing behind you with a knife. Uh, <laughs> Correct. That's also a very fair point. <laughs> oh, uh, could I also real quick cast protection from Martin? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> if you have magically ensorcelled the food to 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 expand once it enters your body and just explode you, that won't figure it out. Yeah, I can only do one of those at a time. We'll do detect magic later. <laughs> if we all die of bloat before then, well, but no, uh, yeah, you know, you can, you can, you can cast it. Um, I'm trying to think of when you before we get to that. Um, the uh, the two that aren't there. Are you? What are you doing in the morning? Uh, Nash is probably taking a bit in the morning to like spend a little bit of time with family, having brought Firen over to introduce to the introduce to the parents, uh, going to sleep for the night. Waking up, she probably makes food uh, with everyone. Uh, fun fact: the craftsman is proficient in all tools, and the craftsman tools function as all tools. This includes culinary and tools. Yep. You just better clean them first. <laughs> Nasker, we talked about this. Get your wrench out of the eggs. <laughs> um, uh, um, I think that Ella would have gotten up in the like. This can be brushed over, but gotten up like middle of the night. Having not slept, just just sat and laid in bed for for a few hours. Um, we'll actually get to it then. Then uh, when you okay. got up in the middle of the night, we're rewinding time a little bit. When you got up in the middle of the night, you didn't feel it while you were laying down, but as you stand up, you feel something shift in your pocket. Size a little bit, reaches in. There is a small, like bound scroll. Uh, mm -hmm. that you your pocket, which you recognize. This is uh, the result of a uh, of a magic of a magic cantrip that you are that your right. mentor knows. Uh, that they, they're able to send you messages in teeny tiny scrolls that are encoded. Okay. Um, yep. Rolls her eyes a little bit and opens it up to read. And you roll it out. Uh, it is a dense cipher uh, because it's a limited number of characters that can go on to a, a message with the spell. Uh, sh they, they have developed a, uh, a, a a encoded, basically a sort of an encoded uh, cipher that they've taught to you so you can read it. Right. Um, that basically is consists of symbols rather than characters, and each symbol has distinct meaning. Um, yep the message functionally once you've once you've deciphered it uh is basically a uh the phrase is uh call to arms and hold ground um okay. which translates to uh you're going to need to move sometime in the next month or so and you're going to need to do it with allies so gather allies that you trust and Prepare and prepare for assignment, and it typically Great. gives you a, a time span of about a month, month and a half, sometimes two. All right, burn the note. It uh, once you've read it, uh, like okay, five, uh, it, once it, you've it, read it, it, it dissolves. It yeah, dissolves. Okay. Yep. And then Which, uh, uh, the, the first time you read one of these, you didn't know, and you were only right. halfway through writing it down. You've learned to write down very quickly ever since then. Yep. Uh, and Ella is sneaking to her parents' place just to not to. to she's just gonna gonna break in and hang out in her old room for a bit. Make me a stealth uh, check. look. A, stealth check. Okay. Look, if I have to, I will. I will inspiration this useless uh, excursion. Do it. I did not inspiration. That is just a natural yeah. advantage, but 22. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, with 22, easy. Yep. Your parents she just, the doors, so. Yeah. She just, she sneaks in. She uh, goes to her room and she sits there for a little bit, just taking it in. And then we'll probably go look through 
lot of people like the 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 diary or her diary and stuff uh, studying like she's taking notes to remember things that she that she might have lost or that didn't know etc um remind herself of everybody because it's been fucking five years um and then we'll probably eventually make make her way to the church and we'll wait outside until it a lot like hidden somewhere until it seems like an appropriate time to come in just for shits and giggles give me an investigation check with advantage okay uh, uh, there we go that tracks uh, I roll with an advantage and it rolls the same die twice. It's okay. It was it's a DC ten to act like yourself. So uh you managed to remind yourself enough. enough of your of your past that you can behave like Elafira uh, and not like cool. who Elafira has become. <laughs> right. Which to be fair is still Elafira, but a very different Elafira. Yeah. Uh leave the implication that Elevir has been possessed and replaced by someone else. You know. I am telling you nothing. <laughs> Turns out this isn't Elevir, this is actually a changeling. The real character was a changeling. I'm not going to say that Sen and I have not discussed changelings in the five years that have taken place. But I'm not going to say it hasn't happened. Because it uh, has. Uh, but yeah, uh, at some point, you see, like, you can hear activity going on inside. Yep. Um, and I imagine that you'll probably see Shani and Firen approaching before anybody else comes out of the building. Unless okay. something dramatically different, uh, as far as these characters are concerned, happens before then. Najka and Firen. Najka. What did I yeah, say? I'm going... You said, said Shani. Najka and Firen. I will. I'm going to let them pass in, and I will be the last person in because right. that is more appropriate in this situation. Before that, Craig, make me a medicine check with advantage, thanks to detect poison and disease. All right, <laughs> there was poison. May I guide myself? Uh, no, this is an instinctual thing. Okay. Also, I believe detect poison and disease is concentration. Yeah. As is guidance. Oh, fair. Good point. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a 24. 24. No one in the room is diseased or poisoned. However, something seems off with Tenebris. In what way? Medically. You're in not what way? You're not certain. It's just that there's there's the 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 magic isn't really reading anything, but there's just this instinct that you have from where your met where your own knowledge of, of of healthcare and medicine and the magic collide, and just your your natural wild sense as a druid tells you that there is something medically wrong with Tenebris, but not specifically what. Okay, is Tenebris awake yet? Tenebris would have woken up while you were gone. Yeah. Okay. Notably, you would have woken up with a wet hacking cough. Yeah. Like sitting up really quickly and just kind of hacking for a moment. Uh, so, Grouper comes in bearing a bunch of trays at this point, or plates, I guess. And um, comes up, hands them out. And um, is Tenebris still sort of sitting on the edge of the nest bed or is up at this point? Um, probably would have got up and like would be stretching. Okay. All right. Um, so hands out everything and uh, then says, so how's everybody feeling today? Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm just picturing the blank stares from from Pease yeah, and Dina. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other two good goblins are failing just fine and um, seem to have decided that today is going to be a better day than yesterday and are behaving accordingly. I have a question, Jack, that I feel like I should know and I'm embarrassed that I don't. Good goblins, siblings, or are they just, they have sort of decided to all share the same surname because they got adopted and raised by Father Martin. Uh, they behave as siblings, but they're not biologically siblings. Okay, all right. All right. Do, um, well, I mean, uh, biologically set that aside completely. Do they consider themselves siblings? Yes. Okay, all right. So, um, uh, yeah, so, um, but they're in here now too? Yeah. Okay, great. They were in here the whole time, but now they're awake. Okay, so making sure that everybody has a plate of food. Uh, does Tenebris say any, anything in response to how's everybody feeling? Not really. Just kind of gives you a thumbs up as like he cracks his back. Okay. Um, Cooper takes his plate and, and goes over and sort of near Tenebris and says, I'm not... Are you sure? I, cause I'm gonna be honest with you. You seem like maybe something's still bothering you a little bit, which isn't weird. I mean, you were lost at sea for a while and stranded on an island. I just, I just want to know if there's anything I can do to help out. No, I think I just like being being stuck for so long. Kind of, you have to unadjust, like readjust to being not stuck in an island after readjusting yeah. to being stuck on an island i mean that makes sense what what can we do what would make you feel more at home and i guess i mean everybody i mean we should celebrate everybody being back right he looks around We have to do something together. Which good goblin is that? Uh, Gesby. That's what I thought, but I wanted to make sure. That's at that point that Naj the door opens and Naj can fire and walk in, uh, followed sheepishly by Elvira. No, so, not at all. Followed distinctly I mean, not sheepishly by Elfira. <laughs> he's going to come in like probably uh, a minute later. Okay. Well, that sounds about right. I think it's been a while since any of us have been around. Probably good to get blood flowing and get out there again. If people are ready for that. I imagine at least one of us is still a good bit tired. Speaking of which, how much exhaustion is, is uh, Davina on at this point? Four levels. Oh, I was three last time. Have I gained a level? No, so you start at five. Then yeah, you... you told me yeah. I was at three at the yeah, end you of the You've given it a couple of days of her being passed out. Right, 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 right. Yes, three. So, yes, yeah, so two levels now. Sorry. Okay. I forgot time, as I often do. <laughs> it's time it should be forgotten. No, that's not what everyone else in my life says. I do. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Everyone but one. Uh, Oop. Sorry. Yeah. I didn't do that on purpose. Who is who is Grouper's Peloton? Oh, the, the darkness. Um You're gonna have to specify. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your first um, final boss. We got four or five different kinds right now. <laughs> did did, did Tenebris used to stretch this much, or is that new? Uh yeah, he probably would have. Okay. Because he does a lot of like manual labor. And so he tries to make sure he stays stretched and nice and limber. Not step not getting real step after working all day. 
I mean, you know, they grew up together. Tenebris knows Grouper. Grouper is, is clearly worried about Tenebris and, and is not, you know, hiding it or being subtle about it because Grouper is not a particularly, you know, um, subtle kind of clandestine guy. or subtle person. But um, if if there is something weird or out of place that Grouper would notice, um, if it comes up, would you let me know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ashka steps inside, uh, putting the last bit of some honey glazed bacon in her mouth and just chewing on it as she walks in. Fire in his combing his beard, just as he walks. Morning, everyone. Well, we are just talking about maybe doing something together now that everybody's back. You could go walk up river, I can. In a way, I. If you know, are you up for a walk or would you rather stay in Screams? Wait, who is that to? Davina. You. Oh, okay, sorry. I didn't hear Davina. Sorry. How dare you? Yeah, this 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 perfectly clear, easy to understand voice uh, I chose. Of course you didn't of course you <laughs> didn't hear Davina. Davina wasn't talking. Um, maybe okay. hey guys <laughs> why okay. is Davina getting off of Ella's aura by the way uh yeah so what's so what sort of emotionally where is where is Ella at and if you want to and if you're trying to like sort of control your emotions you can give me a uh -huh. deception check deception yes You know, in retrospect, I may have chosen my proficiencies wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> for what for what Ella does, it's fine. Uh, Can it be a performance check. Uh, no, so it's, nah, it's, I didn't do that one either. Performance is when you're trying. <laughs> okay. Performance is when you're trying to portray a particular uh, emotional aspect. Uh, in but uh, deception is when you're trying to hide a particular emotional aspect, which is what Elfir is doing. Yeah, I'll inspiration this if I need to. Why is it? Oh, because I put it on it. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Uh, would you like to inspiration that? Yes, I'd like to inspiration Roll that. Again. All right. 15. That's that's better. What's your passive insight, uh, how, uh, Davina? Um. Okay, my insight is two. So twelve. Okay. Twelve. So twelve. Yeah. Twelve. So so just with a cursory glance, um, if you wanted to dig into it further, it would be an active role. But for now, it's just the passive. Um, initially. Uh, oh what is, wait. What is well, oh about? no, because I inspiration, so it's fine. Yeah. What is uh? What is what is uh? What are you? What are you portraying um, emotionally, Delavera? I think. Uh, mostly carefree sort of sort of uh in a very good mood a little undercurrent obviously of concern because of what happened last night um but generally very chipper and kind of uh almost i would say almost obliviously so considering what reading the room would 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 potentially imply it's also deception because in order to lie to others about how you're feeling you first have to lie to yourself yeah no that's uh, fair that is absolutely <laughs> fair um but yeah so that's what you're that's what you're getting off of yep. off of mm -hmm. yeah I will say that with your aura reading, uh, you you are getting that there is. You're not certain how to you're not certain how to translate this, but there is a little bit of a waver to the aura. The color never changes, but the outline is less consistent than everyone else's. Okay, you don't know what you don't know what that means though. 
You just know mm. that that's that is a slight oddity. How are we doing today? Don't everybody speak up at once. Crickets, crickets, Gosh, you're gonna crickets, like crickets. cracks her neck a bit. Tenorous mouthful of food. Thumbs up. Not doing too bad, all things considered. Awesome. Byron's gonna make a roll <laughs> real quick. Grouper is very focused on his food. I was just thinking what that yesterday was... Did. Oh, sorry. No, I just was saying, you're not sure what those eggs did. But... <laughs> <laughs> they know what they did. Fyron, huh? with a Fyron, with a 21 insight, realizes he doesn't know any of these people well enough to uh, try to cheer anybody up. <laughs> so he's going to focus <laughs> on meeting the dog. Uh, so he's sort of like... Oh, we step off to one side. Feed him. Yeah, just steps off to one side, kneels down, and just starts talking to ta talking to the dog, who reciprocates with uh, with excitement and tailwags. Smartest <laughs> motherfucker in the room, right there. Uh... He also uh, also seems to appreciate this. Um, but Gatsby was saying, um, I was <laughs> I was just saying that yesterday was a bit of a dud, and I think we should start over fresh. Yes, hundred percent. Doing oh, sweet, yeah. how you feeling? Davina is shoveling food into her mouth right now. Good sign. All right. So what's their plan? Well, if we like, uh, there's always a bit of moving and walking about to be done. Uh, if need be, we could take a trip back up the river towards Aorna, uh, maybe see what's been going on along the island, see if anything new and interesting has come about. Uh, Jeremy, does Ella smoke? Yo, yes. Uh, you're getting some You're getting some nicotine uh, off of Detect Poison uh, grouper on Ella, but other than that, nothing. And probably, probably I think Ella has already uh, uh, had a, a a a morning drink, so a bit of nicotine, bit of alcohol. So a little, a little, little bit, just a touch of alcohol poison. Just not not just, enough to be drunk. Just as your just as your mentor taught you, a little nicotine, a little alcohol in the morning. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> did she do? Did she do? Amusing, either... amusing side note that might be <laughs> that might be noteworthy on Najka is you if you look at Najka with the tech disease, it looks like she had a cold had being the operative term because it looks like it's actively being burned out of her by her body okay like literally on fire sen asks if ella smokes my immediate thought is like ella has lung cancer this is this yeah. campaign's now I have, I have <laughs> three weeks to live <laughs> this campaign is now entitled bucket list that's the that's, right, Craig. That's the, you were trying to say that's the party name, anyways. Oh no, <laughs> that's because a good party because name. because right. because group rest travel in a bucket. You see, <laughs> it's true. I love it. Well, I don't have a big strong girlfriend to carry me anymore. So. Um, the rest of us don't know that. It's okay. Um, she was never strong to begin with. Uh, <laughs> that that is true. To be fair. Morning drinking, morning smoking, or either of those habits that she had on the island? No. She... Okay. No, not at all. Okay. She had probably, I think, five years ago, I mean, she was, she's the daughter of a noble family uh, who hung out with the adventure group. Like, she had busted into wine before, but it's like the, the teenager... Getting into it between a in a non-depressing way. Wine and yeah. adult drinking wine first thing in the morning. Right, it's a it's the difference between like going going to the going to the lake for the for for the 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 kegger and this is it's morning time so I need my morning glass of wine. Shit, that that actually reminds me. I I had actually talked to Sen about whether Grouper could have recovered some ancient bottle of like 
wine from the bottom of the sea for a party before we all left and then i totally forgot about it <laughs> so it has 100 percent just been sitting in grouper's room for the past five years for today or yesterday that, I guess. And then that legitimately happened. may be the saddest thing that has happened in this campaign and that's a high bar it's just covered in dust now something something dust on the bottle Every once That's in a while, symbol for something. Yep. Every every once in a while in the five year time skip, there's just a scene of Grouper looking at the bottle. Like just like I should have got that out when we five years ago like three years ago. I think I think there is yeah, there's definitely in the montage, there are definitely scenes of like each time a letter comes, he goes in, reads them, smiles, puts them away, hums to himself, goes in and like shines up the bottle. And then there's definitely a point at which the bottle stopped getting shined. <laughs> and then he just he cuts to it as it gets dustier and dustier. Yeah. Like, first first the bottle stopped getting shined, then letters stopped getting stacked next to it, and then the door stops opening entirely. <laughs> He's just spending all his time at the dock. Yep. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> D and D, a fun game for kids. <laughs> um. We were all kids once. So yeah, I don't remember what the last thing that was said in character was. Um, this point. We were talking about going up to. Going up the river. Yes. What's the town? Yorna. Yorna. Fuck yes. Uh, in a soft voice, Davina will just like look down and say clothes like looking at the rags and bandages on her yeah right. she is largely yes right now uh, I, I, I forgot about i that. have i have a hard time imagining that with like peas grouper and father martin all in the uh in the church overnight that there isn't like a set of clothes if not three of them folded up the the discovered bed. fashion yeah there is i mean there you have clothes now <laughs> there are some fresh clean like very simple clothes that look like they probably came from Davina's parents, uh, folded up on a table off to one, like uh, uh, off to one side. That has just been getting ignored this whole time. <laughs> Gru okay. Grouper will bring them over. We'll see them and bring. Okay, them. then yeah, Davina will go and put them on. And Davina, they Ooh, look, do you, Davina? They look like, like, sized up versions of the clothes that you used to wear. Which were which were relatively loose, so it doesn't really they don't they're not the kind of clothes that need specific measurements. Mm -hmm. But you can tell that these had to have come from your family. Mm-hmm. Grouper will I mean Grouper's not claiming credit. Grouper will say, your folks dropped his off for you when you were arrested. They're real glad to see you back. We were all real worried. So go put them on. I mean, if you want, I've got some stuff that's a little bit more less, but that's fine. She, yeah, she's already putting yeah. it on. Yeah. When uh, after a few minutes, when she's back on, it's it, yeah. For the rest of you, it's this almost identical to the clothes that Davina was wearing the last time you saw her um, five years ago. Um, but you can tell now because they're a lot more revealing. Uh, than, than, than the robes and rags that she was wearing. Um, Davina is visibly emaciated. And there are a lot more scars all over her body than you saw when she was bundled up. I'll put the mini. It just takes inside. the last couple of fish cakes. Out of character. All I can think of is Tenebris is also emaciated from spending an, a year on an island. Just goes up to Davina, pokes her ribs, pokes his own ribs. I think we need to eat more. Gosh, does he poke her? No, this out okay. of character. Like darn, I was kind of hoping. This was an out of character uh, thought process. <laughs> there was going to be a reaction. I was kind of hoping. I think I think both of them at least are getting new plates of food. <laughs> if they both get this this ravenous. There you go. There's uh, uh, Davina in current outfit in Slack.
Her hair is not that long yet, though. Yeah, still short, but will be that long, yeah. actually. Okay, so... Najka, of note, has sort of been standing in sort of the background of the room the entire time, has avoided sitting down on anything or, like, going, like, making themselves too obtrusive in the room. Which is hard, because of how big you are. Yeah, that's also why she hasn't sat down. Like, next to, next to the, next, next to the, uh, next to the stained glass window, you're the largest thing in the room. <laughs> yep. Well, except for the Aormaton. I mean, yeah. The Amaton, the Amaton, the Ar the Amaton is a bit taller. It is nowhere near as big as okay. Nazca is. No, it's about it's about the same width, honestly, uh, because it has to fit three goblins inside of it. Uh, yeah. It's it's big and wide. Very clearly, like if you were to if you were to if you were to estimate like what this Aormaton might have been for, you imagine the only two applications you could think of, Shani or, or Nazca, looking at it, um, are construction of some kind, like some like heavy labor maintenance, um, or mm military use hard yeah. to tell which but wearing wearing her forge plate which adds 75 pounds to her already 340 pound mass she will probably break a bench if she sits down on it too hard well can is hanging out with you and your boyfriend so <laughs> can davina try to read the um the emotions between Ella and Gruber. Uh, so Ella is maintaining that same emotional okay. disposition you saw earlier. Uh, how's Gruber feeling? Sort of service level emotions. I mean, it, there's there's a little bit of hope mixed in with the anxiety from before. There's a sort of sense of comfort very very minor but just just a, a little, little bit of, of of relief to have people back um and there is also like low down on the priority list but there is a mix of anger and hurt is that the... can she tell if that's directed uh anyone yeah what does any does anything spike when you whenever you look at elevira the grouper is talks. not looking at it. Grouper is not looking at Elafira. I would say it spikes a little when Elafira talks. Give me an insight check with advantage because of your aura reader. Twenty. Um, with a twenty, um, I'll say yeah. You can definitely tell that that's uh, that the the sort of the anxiety. Some some aspects of the negative emotions Grouper is feeling are being caused by Elafira. You're not certain. You're not you're not getting any from Elafira specifically, um, which is a little odd. Um, but definitely, yeah. It doesn't tell you what happened between them, but it definitely tells you that something happened between them. Mm-hmm. Um, it's at All this right, we. Sorry, go ahead. I was saying, it's at this point in time uh, that there is uh, a woodpecker-like sound on the front door. Just, just rapid There's knocking. Go check. Right. Davina visibly flinches. I go get. I go to the door quickly and open it. So Gatsby gets there. Gatsby gets there right before you, but you both get there. Okay. Um. Gatsby I still say as the door opens. What? Uh, as you say, what uh, a bird flies past your face, um, as a mechanical clockwork hummingbird uh, just flies into the room. Uh, Can I and reach out and grab it? Make an uh, make an acrobatics check. Seventeen. Not quite enough. You almost get it. You you like your <laughs> hair off. Yeah. You know it flips past you, flies over to Fyron, lands on Fyron's shoulder. And from it opens its mouth, and a small scroll just ejects from its mouth. Nashka looks over her shoulder. New orders. He'll reach up and pull it out. 
I mean, probably. He says, looking at it and unscrolling it. And the, uh, as he does, the bird tweaks and then collapses into a pile of gears. He is fascinated. New, new orders from where? Home. Home being. Oh, that, like, if, if our site is still active, that is a huge spike of pain from Groovy. Mm -hmm. Oh no, in response, Davina will say, this is home. This is home as well, but other home. Uh, he just hands you the scroll after he reads it. She'll look it over. Um, it says... Hang on. Uh... Um, uh, Fire and Nanushka. We've got a few leads that we are pursuing currently on uh, Objective T. Uh, you're on standby until we find out uh, precisely where we want you to head. Um, probably going to need more than just the two of you. So if you can get together some mercenaries, be a good idea. Signed, L.S. Well, it's not immediate, but uh, I guess good thing that it showed up here. He rolls the scroll up, puts it into a pocket on her jacket. What? Uh... When... We've had some time to rest, recuperate, and get back into the swing of things. Uh, if any of you are looking for work of the adventuring variety, uh, might be... Uh, might be there's something that I would be looking to get some friends in on. For what? Like, who do you work for? I work for the city of Whitestone. Who does number two work for? Yeah. <laughs> is, is this somewhere we know where it is? Yeah, no. Like, I assume I do. Don't all of you would? You don't even need to roll. Even even Grouper knows where Whitestone is. Whitestone is uh. Oh, hang on. I have a book for specific information. It's, it's up north, right? Yes, Whitestone is in the north, yeah. north of Tadore. Uh, it is... It's the northeast. Yeah, northeastern end of Tadore, basically. Rupert's <laughs> actually paying attention to Tenebris when that gets mentioned. That's a bit out of the way, but we were kind of hitting a rut anyway, so we could take a break. But... Well... The our work takes us far and wide around around the globe. Uh, we don't know exactly where we'll need to be sent after this, but that's this was just a be on standby in case new information shows up kind of letter. Oh my God, me too. It, I'm surprised we haven't crossed paths. You know, be, since we left. I'll be honest, I'm not based on the kind of work that I get up to. Not because I mean. You don't know what kind of work I get up to. That's fair. Unless you're assuming something, what are you assuming? <laughs> I'm assuming it's not quite the same so, yeah. as I do. So yeah, White Sun is located in the Alabaster Sierras, which is the mountain, which is a mountain range uh, in the northeastern reaches of the continent. Um, and uh, it's pretty out of the way, but uh, you all do know that it's a, um, it's a, for a small uh, city state. Um, it is a well-respected one, uh, as far as the, uh, uh, national, international, as far as the communities of Taldore and, and, uh, 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 Tuartacala, um, are concerned. Um, nobody really, some people, some people tend to fuss about, um, an overabundance of magical, re magical reagents being sourced from Whitestone. Um, but, uh, Otherwise, it's relatively well respected as a as a bit of a commerce uh, uh, hub in Taldore. It's not a contest, you know. I'm not. I didn't say it was. 
I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page and it isn't a contest. Whatever you do for a living, I'm sure it makes you happy. I wasn't trying to say that that it was better or worse. I just said, I'm, not I'm surprised we didn't that. cross. Everything anybody else is saying, I'm just establishing that it's not a contest. I agree. It's not a contest. My point being, the kind of work that I do tends to be sort of behind the scenes. So I tend to stay out of the public eye most of the time. That doesn't mean we didn't. We we, we couldn't have potentially crossed paths. I mean, maybe we did. I don't know. I mean, maybe we did. That would have been funny. I love this spy v spy bullshit going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> One spy wearing giant heavy armor. So, with did did Tenevers have any reaction when it was mentioned? Not really. Like, oh, I've been there. Cool, I know where that is. Okay. No, oh, because I'm because Gruber knows that Tenevers was there for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, oh, uh, for 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 what kind, of, go ahead. what kind of work is it that you do? If I uh, mean, if usually you're recruiting what, us, uh, usually whatever needs to be done. Uh, the kind of work that I get on with for the Chamber of Whitestone usually is, I've done everything: bodyguarding, exploration, investigation, scouting, things less savory. Uh, okay, that's in our wheelhouse. Fire and fire will chime in. Largely, though, we are in charge of. Uh, I guess you could call it uh, extremely aggressive import export uh, security. Whitestone, ah. Whitestone has a particularly uh, volatile export that doesn't like having as an export, and so. All right. Fair enough. Make sure it doesn't stay that way. Is that where you up to when I couldn't find you at the shop? Probably. Let's just say for the purposes of not arguing then, that we probably have never crossed paths without knowing it. If it gets you to stop arguing, then I highly recommend... We're not arguing! <laughs> right? We're not arguing. Now of it's course not. Every time I'm not arguing, I raise my voice. Of note, Nashka has yet to raise her voice once at this point. Yes, but We're... Ella. Yeah. <laughs> very intense right now. We're bantering. It's different. <laughs> Nashka just grins. Of course. Nashka, you just got home. Does this mean you're leaving again? Oh, no. that was This was just a standby. I don't have to go anywhere yet. Yeah, no. Standby orders like this typically take uh, means that I uh, look for more orders in somewhere between like a month to a half a year's time. So, Oh, Viren. Could be, could be as early as two weeks. Could be as late as next year. I didn't think our reunion was ever going to be moving back here. No, but I just... I figured it would be more than, you know, a day. But that makes sense. You don't have to head right back out. I just thought you were going on the ships as they left immediately. No, no, no. I may have to make something if my orders come back in and I'm still on the island and no ships are on the way, but... You know that, uh, uh, you know that your captain is pretty good about making sure you got access to transportation. In, in the meantime, then, should we still plan on going up river? Yeah, I'm not, I, I don't have anywhere to be in the immediate future. I was planning on saying at least a little while. I don't have a timetable. And like I said, uh, it doesn't have to be all of us separating when my work comes in. Uh, this letter specifically said probably going to need more than just the two of us. So if there's any mercenaries on hand who want to come along. I think you should come along, Grouper. Even if it's just for this one. Wait, are you all mercenaries now? Looks at the good gallons. They shrug. We just sort of... Mostly we are an Aormaton. Did you have anywhere that you were planning to go when you left? 
um, probably back to what's the name of the place? What's the uh, name of the place that we've been spending time? Kaimel. Kaim, probably back to Kaimel. How's that been? Uh, I mean, you've been getting letters. <laughs> that's but... a that's a that's a good way to describe Kaimel, honestly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, so, okay, you know what? That's fair. You're right. They have been exchanging letters. So, in that in that case, uh, the question is probably ready for a challenge. For at least a little bit. We are going to have to go back, but and uh, am I familiar enough to know that when 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 a, a missive like this says if there are any mercenaries hire them is that with the expectation that Whitestone will pay them a going rate? Yeah, your funds are all provided by Whitestone, so like yeah. if there's a, if there's payment involved, then Whitestone will Whitestone yeah. will back whatever you negotiate. Yeah. So and for fairness, I've got freedom to negotiate a fair wage for any mercenaries that I hire on behalf of Whitestone. So. I, you can indeed get paid for helping out. If you, if you, if Good you, to know. if you promise the sun, the moon, and the stars, uh, Vexalia will look at you funny and probably shoot you. Uh, but other than that, yeah, you I have just, pretty. You have. That's why I said a fair wage. <laughs> well, it's really hard to get an Aornaton on your payroll, so the going wage for that is pretty high. Um, Gesby does smile though; she's teasing. <laughs> Not just smirks. Make You'd a, be surprised. Make an insight check. I, make an insight check, the good goblins. I'm easy. I'm just not cheap. The good goblins make an insight check? Yes. Oh. I misinterpreted that. And <laughs> no worries. Oh, we did all right. Yeah, with a 17, you see Fire and Blanche. Uh, very clearly, he doesn't get that you're joking. And the first time you've ever met this, the first time you have ever seen anything other than calm or joviality, you see pure terror flash across his face for a moment. <laughs> Pease, Pease notices this and is right by him because they've been dog and just reaches up and puts his hand on Fyron's hand and nods at him, trying to communicate. It's all going to be okay. You're going to be fine. He, he, he... Nashka notices Fyron, like, pale. It's a joke. We don't have to worry about Vexalia. He, 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 he just looks off to one side and just calms himself down and, 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 and re-adopts his, his uh, jovial demeanor. I... I think that sounds great that you guys would be together. A little bit of the old, a little bit of home, you know, that you can travel with. That's you are great. Welcome to come along, Grouper. Oh, I, I, I appreciate that, Nashka. I do, I and mean, it sounds like an amazing place. I mean, look at you. You're 80 feet tall and 40 feet wide. I mean, that's amazing. But that'll be feeding you great. But, uh, yeah, back up. It, it kind of gestures towards, uh, Davina and then towards him. You know, everybody's back now. We're gonna have to make sure everybody's okay. So th thanks, I appreciate it though. That's not going to take forever. Wow. We're yeah. all leaving again. Well, I mean, I don't know about Davina, but I'd be surprised if any of the rest of us stayed. No, I know. You know, um maybe next year. You just, you, you know, keep me in the loop on where you are. There's going to be a time when maybe next year isn't good enough. Well, you get a, uh, it kind of gestures over to the Aormaton. You get a, a fishbowl in the back of that thing and let me know. Oh, Pease, Pease looks like, um, Pease immediately walks over to it and starts examining the back of it for a plan okay, to Nashka looks at Nashka looks at the back of the Aormanton. Uh a uh, good supplies in about two days. Uh a a, a series of uh, as Pease approaches the Aormanton, a series of electronic trills are uh sounded out from the machine that Pease just sort of instinctively whistles back to it. It could carry you. 
Grouper may have been kidding. I am 100% wanting to ride around in a fishbowl on the back of the Aorm Tom. It's just the fish. It's just the fish from Cat in the Hat, but Grouper. <laughs> we got to get a hat for the Aorm Tom. I already have a hat. Uh, Would right. be the lid. So it sounds like at some point in the near future, there's a walk to be had. Yes. All right. So did you see I sent you something? Yeah. <laughs> okay while this is all going on uh D grouper in your head you hear a voice divina go on oh no grouper <laughs> <laughs> that's the answer yet grouper what what it's it's me Tonsils? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> my tonsils. Oh, I thought he said my tonsils. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, if Davina was her old self, she would totally go with that. Oh. <laughs> yes, this is your <laughs> conscience. You need to tell me everything so I know how to advise you. Um, Have I ever heard a psychic voice before? I I, I don't no. imagine. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. It's not common. In fact, it's very uncommon. <laughs> it's Davina. And if you notice, she's staring at you. So he will turn and sort of look. And, and yeah, at this point, we'll look at Davina. Okay, it's easier for me to talk in here. First of all, what is going on with you and Ella? Make a, I'm not make an a, idiot. Make an insight check with disadvantage, Grouper. Okay. Quick. This is for some this is for a different thing entirely. Hang on. Go ahead. Well, not entirely, but does Naj can notice the two of these people just stop talking and stare at each other? I, mean, I feel well, Davina like hasn't been talking a lot. I mean, yeah. So. But, yeah, yeah in yeah, fairness, probably mid argument about you all. Um, you all. Not, <laughs> you you all notice Grouper react to something and then stop yeah. talking and staring at Davina. <laughs> no, 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 no. Grouper's still talking out loud. He doesn't know he can talk. Oh, yeah, back. yeah. That, that's that. Yeah, with the twelve insight. Yeah, you have no idea you can I, talk back. Uh, mentally. I, I, so yeah. So I also think that. This is while everybody else is fighting. Right? That's also potentially fair, yeah. We're busy discussing whether whether Ella is bantering or arguing. Yeah. So yeah, continue. Uh, so there's just a beat in Gruber the Gruber says. Okay, for real. That's the or, you can't. Okay, I don't even understand what's happening. That's the first thing you ask? Yes. We'll get to other stuff later. Um, can we talk outside? That was going to be my second question. Okay. Actually, can we go to the water? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, so the river runs right past the church. Do you go to the river next to the church, or do you go further down? Gruber will hold out a hand to Davina to help her off the bed. Davina will pause and stare at his hand for a minute. And then very slowly, she will take his hand. Um, Gruber kind of smiles a little bit, gently gently folds his like clammy fish fingers around the hand and sort of looks over at the others and says, we're gonna we'll be right back, okay? She just needs a little open air on the water. Okay? Alright. Alright. You guys Fine, sure. Make make some plans and, and, and we'll be back in. And uh, I'll, I'll walk with Davina out the, I guess, the door closest to the river. And we will join that conversation when we get back from our break. Uh, those of you that are watching, uh, please stay tuned for these commercial messages. And remember, when we take our break, you take yours. So stand up, stretch your legs, move around, do whatever you need to do. And we'll be back in just a few minutes.
And we're back. A dinosaur story. Uh, so, Davina and Grouper go out the side of the church to the river that runs past it and take a dip in the water. I'm gonna go have a conversation with Davina down by the river. God damn it, Craig. <laughs> Grouper does live in the van down by the river now that I think about it. <laughs> That's true. All right. Sorry, it's like choke on my food. So we 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 did how does Davina get into the water actually? I'd like to know how she is uh compared to how she used to because I, I Oh she used to just is... jump like jump. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, she very calmly just sits on the side of the river and pushes herself in. Okay. Do you still have your aura active? Or a set, no, uh, telepathic contact is active right now. Oh, okay, okay, all right. I need to note. Yeah, um, note, that, note that you've changed your focus to telepathic contact. Mm -hmm. So, um, Grouper then will, you know, slip in. Grouper is, uh, you know, if he's in a particularly good mood, sometimes he'll cannonball in, but most of the time it's very smooth, very few ripples. Um, and is in just goes. It's the only smooth, the, the only smooth thing about him. No, his skin is pretty smooth. Um, scales. Yeah, but fish scale. Yeah, anyway, smooth. yeah, it's fish scale. It's it's fairly smooth unless you start like getting under the scale. Yeah, and we broke up. So, um, um. Sorry, Holly. You <laughs> okay? I... <laughs> I got some AOE with that one. Um, <laughs> Holly, whenever you're ready. Okay. Um, yeah. She... Sorry, go. <laughs> I'm watching Jeremy die right now. Um... <laughs> oh, that one built. <laughs> um, huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, on that note, no, she will repeat her question when you're under the water. What, what is happening between you two? It's... Do not lie to me. I won't, Davina. I would never lie to you. It's been five years. People grow apart. It was... It was a child's dream that we could make it work. And we went apart. We're, we're not together. And this is the first time we've seen each other since we've gotten back together. It's it's hard, but it it's natural. It's, it's what happens. I, I'm much more worried about you and, and Tenebris and the, the horrible things that you've been through. Yes, there's something dark in Tenebris. There is. It's It's almost like he's sick, but there's... No, there's actually something dark inside Tenebris. Oh, I... I've been working with Kervala, and I've mastered an ability to... Well, he wouldn't say master, but... I, I, and I've been working on my ability to detect illness... And I I can feel something off. It. How do you see it? I can see how people feel. And there's something dark behind him. Do you mean literally? Yes. You see something, a darkness there? Yeah, what exactly did she see when she uh you saw did... it wasn't it wasn't so much you're not you're not seeing it when you're looking at Tenebris right now. It was when well, you it... were seeing the it was when you were seeing all the connections to all the people. There was yeah. Tenebris and then there was just a depth of darkness behind mm -hmm. him. Yeah. Um like like Tenebris cast like like something much larger than Tenebris was casting Tenebris' shadow. Um, yeah, there was a darkness 
behind him, like a shadow or something. What about what about behind you, Davina? What what is all this? Are you okay? What can I do? And he is talking out loud because he still mm -hmm. doesn't know he can return this. And I assume she's still talking. She's yeah, she's she's talking in your head right now. I had a lot of things happen to me. I can tell. It's so good to see you, and I'm glad you're here, but it if anything really hurts me seeing everyone back, it's it's to see how much you're hurting right now. I'm better. How can we get you all the way better? I don't know. Can we find out together? Maybe. I can do things with my mind now. Obviously. But more than just this. Like what? I can see how people feel. I can talk to them. I think I can hurt people with my mind if I want to. Uh, Grouper, give me a another give me an arcana check real quick okay Twelve. with 12 um yeah you're not feeling any magic coming off of davina whatever's happening here is not magical at least as your as far as your understanding of magic is concerned which is a little okay. odd, which is a little odd for you but yeah um it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's magical i that's another thing i've been practicing I, try to see if there's anything magical if that does she happen. know exactly what this is um make me a maybe a nature check and the 10 you know it you know that um, Silas referred to it as as psionic something. Um, he used the word psionic and psychic when he thought you weren't listening. That's okay. that's all you can recall, really, as to as to like a title. Okay, and and she will say it uh, to Gruber as uh, he called it psionic. Who's he, Davina? Silos. Does that does that name mean anything to me? Is that anything? Not that, a thing. Nope, not a thing. Never any any of the letters or anything nope. like that. Mm -hmm. I know I don't need to ask you not to lie to me, but I want you to know that if you're not ready to talk about this, that's okay. I am, I think I am ready. I want to talk to the group. That's why I wanted to talk to you first. Okay. If you can help me. Um, I'd like to speak like this in their minds. Yes. I could. Can you talk to all of us at once if you're doing this? I don't know. I can you, try. You, you, you instinctively do know that you okay. can. Oh, I do know. Okay, yeah, sorry. You, you, have an, sure. you, have an, you have an instinctive understanding of your abilities, not like an academic okay. understanding, but an instinctive one. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yes, I can. Then I can tell them that it's coming and, and we can mm -hmm. talk about it. But before that, can I ask you one other question? Mm hmm Is Grouper gonna have to kill a bitch with this Silas? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I call this for my favorite moment, by the way. Yeah, that's all you. Fair, fair. 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 Damn you, but yeah, that's all you. No, yeah. no. Oh, jeez. Um, 
<laughs> that, that takes her like aback. Um, Is Cooper gonna have to kill a bitch? <laughs> okay. No. If I don't kill him first. Well, I think you've earned the last one, but let me get in a few good hits. Deal. Now, <laughs> oh, sorry, go on. No, 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 you go ahead. Now tell me, whose choice was the breakup? I, I was just about to say, it. like I said, it was long distance. That never works. It, she didn't do anything wrong. Don't be mad at her. Don't I thought so. No, she, you'll just hear, I thought so, in your head. It's, it's fine. It really is. Okay. Um, I'm ready to go back if you want to help me. Of course, and... I was thinking, as we're if we're going up the river, we could just take a boat. I, uh, hey, um, I don't want to surprise you, but can I put you back on shore? It's kind of a neat little trick I've picked up. Mm -hmm. And Gruber just sort of takes one of his his fins and sort of like there's a there's a fluid motion with one of his 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 hands, and I'm gonna use shape water to kind of just pick. Davina back up out of the water and gently put her down on the on the shore. It feels almost like a wave. Uh, uh, the way like Gripper, Gripper moves his hands in a wave like motion, and it feels like a wave on the shore. Just, but it summons from underneath you, and just crests and put deposits you gently on the shore. That's really and, cool. And he swims over and sort of just. Not using it on himself, but just sort of with that, um, you know, he'll put on a burst of movement with his back legs, which work much better in the water and his little tail than they do on land and sort of come up and crest and land. He goes, yeah, I've been pretty pleased with that. It's been coming on pretty good. I, 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 in my head, it was like a Baywatch e water exit until the voice hit and then it yeah, shifted that's, from, that's cool. and then it shifted from Baywatch to like, uh, to minions, just like yeah, it's like Baywatch underwater, minions above. As they are headed back in, because yeah, she's gonna do this. Um, she's going to uh communicate with Ella uh telepathically. Okay, what do you, what do you say? Why did you leave him? You just what? hear this in your head. Um, you can make an insight. What would they on. not read? Yeah, yeah, okay. 13. With a 13, I'll say you can tell that that is not your own thoughts. Right. Uh, and from the voice, you can tell that that's Davina. I think I'm going to roll deception to see how well she pretends not to react. Yep. Visibly. Okay. Bit of yeah, definitely tensing. Get out of my head. You promised you would. Get out of my head. No. Get the fuck out of my head. Fine. She'll leave. <clears throat> Gotta have one every campaign. It's always between these two. <laughs> Is it? We have a special connection. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Is it always between them? 
No, oh, it's just no. just just in concurrent campaign. <laughs> I mean, sometimes yes. it's Jeremy and Craig. Well, like... that's who hates each other. Yeah, I feel like uh, the, the yeah. you didn't think that was going to be this campaign, did you, suckers? I suckers, feel like get out of my head! Like, like not aversion to tele telepathy is a recurring Jeremy character trait, but I'm trying to think of who the other individual and the the other person typically is, and I can't think of who it is. I mean, I'm usually on one side or the other. I'm usually the yeah. person in the heads or the person who doesn't want people in the heads. Yeah. And I can't With a few of, exceptions. And I can't think of who the other person normally is, and it might not be the same person every time. Are you two... Uh, back in, are you, uh, are you, have you guys entered it now, or are you guys on the way back? I believe when this happens. I believe the, tele the telepathy requires line of sight. Um, oh, okay. Least, so to, this, as, as we're contact, entering. So, yeah. I think... And she is staring at you. Without, if she's going to lose her cool a little bit, uh, Ella turns and just shoves by the two of them walking out. Um, can I make a insight check if I have to? Yeah, yeah, insight check. Okay. Um, Sixteen. Yeah, you can, you can, oh. you can, you can at least right. tell that that Ella's upset. Um, I'm going to say because it was telepathy, you can't necessarily tell. Actually, Ella, did you respond out loud or not? Did I? Mm. If she didn't have to, then she did. Like if I was able to 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 consciously recognize it, you've, no, it was it was you, in, it was internal. Sending... You've received sending messages okay, before. That's actually so, fair. Yes. Yeah. Unlike, no, unlike it, Cooper, it was, you've received sending. It was, you know, it was with you. Nonverbal. Okay. Yeah. Though it probably wasn't too hard to see that she was having a negative reaction to something with that only okay. eleven deception. Yeah. yeah I, I, I mean, I, yeah. I think I think that's all Grouper needs. If you tell, if if you think this is out of line, let me know. But I think what happens is Grouper will sort of watch that and then probably still in earshot of Elefina, turn to Davina and say, I told you it was okay. It wasn't anybody's fault. Stop. Turn okay. around. Watching. And there's just a look of, I, I want to say surprise. And she just walks up, grabs Grouper by the arm, we need to talk, and just starts walking off with him. Uh, My dance card's already okay. full. Ah! Um, Do, should we? Should we intervene? No, she just sort of like steps up to the doorway and looks out. Firen, Firen will call out. Probably not. Fuck off! It's okay, everybody. <laughs> give him, uh, give him five minutes. Grouper is is like being dragged away, and he looks back yeah. at the house with the, with the free hand, and just like gives a thumbs up and a big <laughs> smile. Or Manny is still skeptical. Oh! And then as soon as they're out of view, he yanks his hand back out of out of uh, yeah. his hand. I just like, uh... Oh, so good. Did you not ever tell anyone? You don't get to take that tone with me. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You you wrote your letter. It arrived after everybody else was gone. I didn't get to choose when the fuck it arrives. No, I guess you just go off and fall in love on your own. Nobody gets to pick that time. But you don't get to tell me how I get to share that news with anybody else. You could have written a letter. You could have written lots of letters. Or maybe you forgot how to write. Okay. First of all, I did not go off and fall in love. I just found somebody new. I never said fall in love. So fuck off. Second of all, you knew that this was coming. Did you think they just weren't going to ask anything? Or was it going to be, oh, no, everything's is fine. And then Ella has to clean up the mess because you don't want to make anybody fucking angry. No, 
No, I know what you did. You figured Gripper would take care of everything. You obviously didn't let anybody know. You just figured I'd do it. Like always, when we used to go for picnics, who packed the food? Who picked up after? Who threw everything away? Always Grouper. When you make a mess, Grouper cleans it up. Well, not anymore, baby. I'm done. You know... Let's not pretend there's a difference between... The, there isn't a difference between the two of those things. You're right. One of them is something I was happy to do for somebody that I loved. The other one is stabbing me in the heart with something that you couldn't even be bothered to clean up afterwards either. So you're damn right there's a difference. You know, are you going to say, am I? Are, mm -hmm. Oh, you motherfucker. All right. So. Could I have done it a little bit nicer? Yes. Probably. But let's not do me the fucking courtesy of at least acknowledging that you did th that you decided not to tell anybody so that they could all find out in this moment I didn't and then you, you would coming. fucking win I didn't even think you were coming back and you know why of I didn't course I was fucking coming back you know why I didn't tell anybody because I knew they were going to take my side and I didn't want to put you through that oh you, you knew they were going to take my take your side regardless I didn't think you were going to show and it could have been something we held up. And then two of our friends come back almost dead. We could uh -huh. have put this through. But you know what? We got bigger fish to fry. We absolutely do. I don't disagree with you on that. But this shit, no. This is... You don't get off the hook for this. Oh, oh, because the there's something that oh. happened because of something else that happened. Okay, real subtle. Yeah. No, you know what? If you didn't want to get blamed for this, you should have stepped up and told people about it. I was going to, and you know, maybe there was something a little bit more important that apparently you couldn't wait to tell somebody about. Davina's psychic now. I didn't know that was going to happen. Just looking around in my mind. What do you want me to do? Why? I can't lie. I've never been good at lying. You know that. I'm just saying it's really funny that you use the you use the there was something big that has happened that that just happened as as, as a defense. But then apparently I. I should have still just said, oh, by the way, now that I'm here, now that all this fucked up stuff has happened, by the way, I broke up with Grouper four years ago. We didn't have a chance to talk about it. I, uh, everyone in the church do a perception me. check at this point. Oh, no, no <laughs> way. This isn't being heard. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know that they need oh, wait, to. No, not that one. I don't think we went far enough for it not no, to be I, heard. Yeah, I think I think all of this is perfectly <laughs> all right. Uh yeah, no, you you all heard I broke up with Grouper four years ago. Uh, uh, uh can I roll to have been eaves eavesdropping as well? Sure. Gensby wants to eavesdrop on this. Sure. Rupert uh, hasn't been quiet the whole time. No, I feel like there was a point uh, yeah, where voices yeah. definitely started getting raised that probably, like, I feel we're around the fucking corner because you <laughs> pulled your arm out as yeah. soon as we were out of eye shot. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. In that case, never you mind. Have to actively not be, you have to actively try to not be listening, I think, to, sure. to not have heard most of this. You're yeah. all hearing it then. All I can imagine is, like, they walk off like, 
turns to Najka. All right, so do you or do I take Grouper off next? And then we hear the and then we hear the voices rising. It's like never mind. Not Najka is just sort of like sitting and waiting, and the, she she's clearly like paying close attention to this conversation. Not because she's listening to it, but because she's keeping an eye for a certain specific point at which she feels she will need to intervene for some reason. Gesby is fully in the doorway to leaving the <laughs> church. <laughs> yeah, uh, not... the best uh, seat possible. Uh, no, Fantastic. Uh, Byron does look over at you and mouth psychic with like a with like a visual question mark in his eyebrow. She she looks over and like raises the eyebrow. I was like, yeah, that's news to me as well. I wanted to try and approach this in a in in a I don't gentle way. I don't know what the right phrase would be in in a civilized adult kind of way. But obviously that wasn't possible. That was fine. I was trying to adjust, and now all of a sudden. You know what? Classic Princess Pearl. You have your thing, and it's always somebody else's fault the way it works out, even if it's all based on things that you did. You want me to lie to Davina, even if I was good? She hasn't earned that. I want you to at least say, I don't want to talk about it right now. You don't have to head. lie. She was in the Tell head. her to get out! Wait, I, okay, I like out of character, I didn't hear what she said. Tell her to get out. I can't. I miss her. I love her. I love. I I, miss, love, I, I love. All I do too. Everybody. But eh, you know what? No, this this is all. This is perfect. This is makes sense. Of course, this is how it was going to fucking turn out. So, um, you no, know at, what? At, at roughly this point, where this conversation is completely breaking down, Najka pulls her pistol out from under her coat and just fires it into the air. You're inside a uh, church. No, like yeah, she, you're she, inside she a building, outside, obviously. <laughs> okay, like she she just steps outside of the building, pulls out her pistol, and is okay. A loud bang goes and, off uh, nearby. Uh, okay, <laughs> she so, immediately uh, goes into a combat position. So Grouper sweeps a hand around and makes an ice wall in front of Elephina. Yeah, Elephina in the church, and yeah, moves directly in front of Grouper combat position. So, so did we just did we just like. Yeah. Oh, each other. Okay. Each other. Yeah. 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 So, so the two, two the two of you immediately move to defend, defend each other, and you just look over and there's Ashka with a pistol raised in the air, just like the slow smirk forming on her face. Well, like, they, they, they can't react like that. They can't see you because the ice wall is between you and them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's she's, she's just, just like slowly. There's just like a grin slowly forming on her face as she watches them react like that. Grouper, like you, you. So I think from your perspective, there's just the ice wall, and then like you see. Behind Elephita, but like Grouper's head sort of slowly leans around, and then he goes, "I think maybe we were being kind of loud." Well, I guess you got what you want. I'm the bad person here, and she turns around and starts stalking into town. Hey, Ella, what? I don't like how you ended things, but I'm glad you're back safe. Glad you're okay too, I guess. And she keeps going. Byron has a thumb in his ear. You don't have to walk off. Walk no, off! So the, the ice wall turns back into water and just kind of splashes down. No, you know what? It turns into water, it suspends, and then Grouper walks through it and lets it splash down on himself like nice. splash dance style. Perfect. With full back arch and, and kick out and everything? No, no, Aww. that's why I said sad flash dance style. Okay. So sort of okay. Like, like like sort of like full like slump walks through it. So. Aww. Um and Grouper says. Sorry about that, everybody. I just... So we broke up. Yeah, I gathered. <laughs> Didn't know. I, I know. I'm I'm sorry. I I just didn't know how to tell everybody through a letter. I just kind of figured we'd be back and we could talk about it. And Your relationship problems anything? are 
fair business. However, there was one thing about that argument that you were right about, is that we do indeed have bigger fish to fry. And she sort of, like, hol holsters the pistol back inside of her jacket and turns to Davina. Sorry, he what? never has bigger fish to fry than some drama. If it means anything, I think Ella was entirely wrong for that entire conversation, and she's a little bit too much in her feelings right now to be reasonable. I mean, you know what? It's it's both. It, it's hard. It's it, you think it's four years. You think it's gonna be well. Anyway, I, I'm just I'm real sorry. We should have had that conversation. Relationships are messy at the best of times. I understand. However, she turns back to Davina. I will say, did you really just say fit bigger, greater fish to fry? That was, she, literally, she literally used the same turn of phrase as that, that grouper yeah. did. Yeah, that group, group, I didn't yeah. notice that grouper did yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. <laughs> oh, no, that, that, that actually might be, that might be my favorite moment of the episode is that grouper intentionally said fish to fry. At like, and then, and then Ella said, uh, like, off the hook. Off the hook, grouper yes. Got, grouper got really offended about that, having conveniently forgotten that he just said fish to fry. Byron has a uh, finger yeah. in his ear and just from off to one side. I think you could have found a better way to do that than the pistol. I honestly, I honestly, I was afraid that their argument would drown out the pistol. My head's ringing. I think I'm bleeding. Uh, I, I'll, 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 physician, I'll, heal thyself. Are I'll, guns a known quantity? Uh, they are. Um, Nashka's guns, guns are far more advanced than any that you have ever seen. Yeah, they're I'm gonna rare. cast cure wounds. I'm gonna cast cure wounds on Fyron. Yeah, he's not. He doesn't have any physical damage. It's just that his ears are ringing because he's wearing a metal helmet. And that oh, gun. <laughs> fuck yeah! Twelve hit points. Eat it, Fyron. <laughs> um, yeah. So guns are rare. They are a known quantity, though. And yeah, most of the ones that you've ever seen are. I mean, except for the except for the lightning blaster and the gauntlet of the aromaton, um, are less advanced than the ones that Nashka has on. Meanly, Manny is visibly impressed. I'm really sorry, and he looks over at Davina. I, I'm sorry. I, I mean, you did ask me to tell everybody, but I know not like this. It's okay. Um, do you want to start at the beginning? Uh, I'll just say real quick, Davina. Davina's more comfortable talking now, mind to mind, um, and can make that happen. But it, it's it's Davina. You know I love you, but it was it was really really spooky the first time. So I just want to let everybody know it's coming. You didn't I've do received, anything wrong. I've received magical messages before. Okay, well I hadn't. So. And she'll just like like she's trying to say something, and then look in the direction that Ella walked off in. I don't uh, think she's going to be in I'll, the mood to join this conversation. I'll right go. Oh, I, let let me let a stranger to the situation go and see if I can provide a little bit of uh, external context. Farid says he walks out of the room, still rubbing an ear, uh, and uh, follows walking away. Alfera. She's real good. At... I think she just a little bit. Nashka, 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 the person whose veins are on fire looks over at that group room and says, chill. No, I mean, like, and y'all are killing me with this pun shit. <laughs> you, you, can, you can see him visibly in the middle of that sentence. Stop, center himself, and then restate it in a more neutral way. Which oh. is also, like, for everybody that's known Grouper, Grouper doesn't get mad at people, so... Yeah. <laughs> Like this whole thing has been a weird day. So Ella, how far into town are you going? Ella is just, I don't, she's not walking anywhere in particular. She is just walking away from the situation currently. Yep. And we'll keep walking until she feels like not walking anymore. Uh, how long do you think? Or someone be? stops her. How long do you think it would be until Ella feels like not walking anymore on her own? I think... Okay, I am not. Uh, I am. I don't remember how the geography of 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 the the town is. It's largely. Um, at a, it's largely at a downward slant towards the port, as the rest of the island. Right. Is. Um, from so okay, from the church. Yeah. Walking towards the town 
is there a decent amount of uh, of like is it right on the edge of like the community or is there like a decent walk before you get to it's right on the edge it's the right town the edge proper the, right on the edge of the town okay it's like like you are effectively the last building in town uh right there at the riverside i uh, think she would walk to the nearest bar then okay so before you and get, get a drink yeah before you get there but not not necessarily close enough to stop you right you do he, you do hear the sound of plate mail jingling behind you <sighs> stops what hey there uh fighter and i think we introduced oh introduced yesterday hi firing yeah uh, sorry oh no, it's fine i'm sorry it's quite all right emotions get heated uh sometimes we yell things we don't mean to yell uh certainly been there before not the yelling part on the receiving end of it but you know it's it's uh uh, uh but uh He's thinking about an interaction with Max that he's had. <laughs> um. Uh, but uh, not here to tell you yet. You're uh, not here to pass any aspersions or judgments. But I did want to let you know. It does look like uh, Davina wanted to tell something to the whole group here, uh, yourself included. Uh, uh, but it seems like she's uh more inclined to tell it once everyone's together probably traumatic doesn't want to tell it more than once kind of thing mm. look i could see your i could see your heading i could see where you're heading and how about i offer you a refreshment right here he says he pulls out a flask and and offers it to you it, no, I'm I'm honestly good, and I certainly, if I'm heading back, I probably should not have, I, I should not have anything that lowers my resolve. Um, this dwarvish fire whiskey. Fucking fine. Let's just let's just double up on this awkwardness and. Uh, It'll be fine. Nice to meet you officially as we're walking back. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, did I give you the full introduction yesterday or did we not get around to it? There are a few that didn't. I don't around. know. Look, yesterday's a blur, as yeah. you might think. Well, Fire and Altorian. Uh, Night Vigil until the dawn, Father. Elephira Gilrich. Adventure. Pleasure. Uh, you do feel just. At Oddly, there is just this passive like aura of calm around Firen. That's good. That'll help. Yeah, it's not it's not enough to it's not enough to like dampen any sort of emotional highs, but it, it is enough to like passively de stress people as they're as right. standing next to them. Give you something to ground yourself on if you want to. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that'll be that'll that'll definitely help. You know what else will help? As soon as you walk into the church, Gesby definitely glares at you. <laughs> uh Davina will walk up to her when she walks in and just quietly say sorry it's okay it's okay it's we'll talk later it'll be before. I'm sorry something I some... yeah sorry go ahead before Ella gets back Tenderus would have turned to Grouper. It's like four years. I was still here. I know. I just. I'm sorry, Tenderus. I just. I didn't know how I felt about it. I couldn't even begin to think how you guys would feel about it. I'm sorry. I should have told you. If nothing else, that's not something you needed to keep to yourself. Like if you needed us, we were here still. I know. I feel like. Feel like I get that now. I wish I'd understood that then. I'm sorry. Thank you. I really, I, I mean it. Thank you. Like what would you have said? Ago. What would you have said to me then? You definitely would have gotten some ice cream. <laughs> I'm like Tyson. Grouper, make a history check real quick. 
Is it about ice cream? No. I mean, Please of. let it be about ice cream. <laughs> kind That's of. That's an 18 cent. You suddenly recall that there was always like a, a dessert that you really enjoyed left out conveniently at the church for like a month after you got that letter. Oh. Somebody found that note. Yeah, I, I, so so like you 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 know only one person would have done that. And he's been conveniently not here all morning. Okay. Uh, so Grouper's like thinking for a second and he kind of goes blank. He goes, Okay, to be fair, I think I probably gotta talk to Doctor to, to Father Martin about you know, say thank you, and also talk about some boundaries. Um <laughs> Thanks, Tedbers, though. I, I I really I really mean it. And and again, don't hold it against Ella. Um every, we've all been going through some stuff. I mean <laughs> you more than any of us probably, but um I'm just glad you have we're to all hold home. it against her at least a little. Wait, she was, was a that? real bitch right then. <gasps> you know, I mean both of them were getting kind of heated, and while I I lean more sympathetically one way, holding it against either of them isn't really going to help anything. That's just, that's... You guys remember how when whenever anytime Ella would kind of be mean about stuff or whatever, she'd kind of go off and then kind of leave me to talk to everybody about it? Is that, Jeremy, is that fair? I think that that is probably kind of fair, yes. Yeah. Um, so he kind of says that and looks around. I just, I think she thought I would do that about this too. And I just, I just didn't feel like it was my job anymore. It wasn't. But whether, you know what? You all are my friends. You all are my family. And I, again, you know what? We were kids. We did dumb stuff. Her and me both, and, and you know, all of us. And I, I should have said something, but that's not the most important thing now. It happened a long time ago. It's just, it's, it's rough to see her. I'm not going to lie about that, but we got more important stuff to do. We got, we're all back together. We got to make sure we're all okay. And... Believe me, I have seen more complicated relationships in my time away. I would hope so. I mean, this is, you know, I, to be fair, I mean, this is, you know, we've been dating since we were 13 and we broke up. That I will tell you a thing. story about a pair of gnomes that occasion, well, one lives and one occasionally visits Whitestone later. I mean, if you've got the a high dramas of relationship are something like this to and you've been broken up for four years and you can't be any more adult about it than that, I think I get to judge. Hmm. I just we haven't had a chance to talk about it and that was kind of the first chance mm -hmm. um, wish I hadn't been yanked out of the door to do it but yeah. anyway it is good to see you we're conveniently ignoring Davina's part in these proceedings <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah because that yeah. would be mean Davina yeah. is not in a place to be blamed for anything Gr yeah gr grouper is <laughs> It's not Davina's fault that no. uh, Grouper and Ella have refused to address this issue. I know. I feel like Davina has a get out of jail free card. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 100%. Don't, don't, give, that. don't give Holly that power. She <laughs> will use it. Without that, it's not, Ella, <laughs> it's not Davina's fault that Grouper and Ella refuse to handle their shit. Anyways. Well, After... in my defense, I'm a perfect cinnamon roll and have never done anything wrong. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, after a few minutes, Ella and Fire in return. Yep. Davina, D Davina approaches yeah. and whis does the quiet sorry yeah. whisper. I'm uh, sorry. I that. Mm. And Flop has just sorry. slammed a shoulder against your 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 shin. Wh who's Flop no, uh, against, who's against shin? Ella's? Okay. Ella's. Okay. Flop doesn't understand that they... No, yeah! Her. 
And yeah, now that uh, and yeah, Davina, now that you're standing closer to Fire because Fire is walking next to Elevira, you're also feeling that sort of oddly calming aura. This looks up. Sorry, guys. All right, personal stuff happens. Gesby is still doing the glare. Meanwhile, Nashka pointedly says, and then looks over at Davina. You want to start uh, at the beginning? I um. She'll look at Ella for this and kind of point to her head. It's just talking. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Is it how many people can I do it to? Is it uh, let me just let me six? Know. Hang on. Because it's... I'm trying to figure out because we've got three goblins. Yeah, but you can target uh, all. Any, of yeah, them. Any, oh, yeah. that's right. Anything that targets okay. yeah, six, it's six other. It's it's a number other than you. I can't remember what the mm -hmm. number it is, but the number we'll that is six other than yourself. Six other than one, yourself two, three, and four, five, targeting seven, eight, one. Everyone, including Fire. Targeting okay, one of cool. yeah, targeting one of the good goblins targets all three. Okay. And target them as a unit. Yeah. Okay, that's what I yeah, sorry, I was counting everyone and I yeah, I was counting you as three jacks, so I was trying to figure Yeah. Any effect how... any effect that targets the good goblins on uh, that uh, that does not affect their hit point total. Targeting one of them targets all of them. Okay. Uh then yes, she will she will do that to speak in everyone's minds. Which does mean that they it means it's easier to slow them. Uh, it's also easier to haste them, et cetera, et cetera, It's also easier to hold them. Yeah. Paralyze one, you paralyze all three. You gotta know when to slow them. Know when to hold them. No. Then everyone will hear Know when minds. to walk away. Know no when to gob to away. Fireball. <laughs> no when to fireball. Anyways. <laughs> um, everyone will hear in their minds. Um, Hi. Sorry, it's easier for me to do it this way. No, I'm just going to respond back mentally. Go on. Okay, start, you, you start can, wherever you're comfortable. You can all respond and talk in here, or you should be able to. Wait, okay. what? <laughs> oh, right, you said you'd never received a mental message before. Oh, good. No, it... Good goblins have never heard this voice before. <laughs> sure. They're a little confused. Davina, I love you, but you could have told me this when we were outside. I'm sorry, I didn't think I... You know what? No, no, no. You know what? It's okay. There's been a lot going on. Okay, sorry. It's okay. I love you. I don't okay. think Shanti would have ever heard this voice either. No, Fyron, <laughs> Fyron out loud. Is that Grouper? Yes. Uh, Gesby and Meanie Manny are whispering between the two of them about it. I think not. I think Nashka's heard it at least it's... once or twice because she has occasionally been in the river when trying to work on something while talking. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, you know, yeah, what it... so this is the. It's his underwater it voice. Yeah, it's you know, it's really hard to speak in in the air when you right. have like when you have gills and a larynx that are designed for water. I'm sorry. This is this is you know. No, um, no, it makes perfect sense. I just, I, it, uh, sorry, I'm a bit flabbergasted. Like, so, do you guys to, never I, realize that that's not, that, that wasn't his voice? Now, wow. now, that, now, you've, now that you've heard his underwater voice, I have to ask you a question, Fyron. Does it remind you of anyone in particular? She it's says, a bit, it's a bit knowing like, that both of them have been to Gilmore's glorious goods and met Gilmore at least once. It's a bit like if you take, if you take Gilmore's voice and you like smash Strongjaw's voice into it. Almost. That's, thank you so much. Ah. All right. I, I don't know who either of those people are, but I am detracting from Davina's moment. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Please continue. Sorry, Davina, yes, continue. All I can uh, imagine in the background, there's Cinebra's like, like, holy shit, they're right. It does sound like Gilmore. <laughs> and then there's a, there's a moment where, where like, no, I do. That clearly is. trying to do his, his like above water voice. It's like it, it, it's okay, Jack. I don't know talk who that is either. Like this, if it's easier. Please don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry. Okay. Please continue. Okay. Um there are some holes in my memory. So 
I'm going to tell you guys stuff, but I don't remember everything. Mm -hmm. Uh... Um, first of all, I have these abilities. I can talk to people with my mind. I can see how you guys are feeling. Uh, when I was first, like, coming into consciousness, I was able to read your minds for a minute. But that might be a temporary thing. Um, I'm still learning everything I can do with my mind. I'm assuming this has something to do with Nashka while communicating mentally, sort of physically gestures to the scars. Yeah. Um... So I'm having a hard time remembering how I got where I got. Um, I remember I joined the, um, and I'm sorry, Sen, what was the name of the group? I cannot, uh, I should have written it down. The Torchbearers. Thank you. Okay, okay. I was going to have it right. Um, I joined the Torchbearers. There's an immediate look between Fire and Najka. Yep. There's recognition on Ella's face as well. Um, can, can we try to tell if we know who that is? I'll give my history check. Anyone that doesn't already know. I think the good commons already know something about the We do? Yeah. You've heard about them in Kaimel. Oh, well, I don't. Please fill me in. Yeah. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll, oh no, no, no. Okay, I remember. I remember. Okay. Okay. I uh, I also out of character don't know, and I yeah. got a fifteen. Oh. That's fair. Uh, good job and share a look. Tenebris, you could also make a history check. Oh, uh, Tenebris already is aware. Oh right, right. Wait, you are. Um. Yes, yes, right. You are. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. Group is the one, only one who is. Group the only one that was. Yeah, yeah. Because he uh, never left. So the Tenebris doesn't Gerber. know much about them, but Tenebris yeah. recognizes the name. You 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 recognize the name, uh, Grouper. You recognize the name as a some sort of um, activist group um, that people have talked about before uh, coming to and from the island. Um, it's an it's a from what you understand, largely they uh, they advocate uh, accessibility and. Um, um, uh, uh, sort of like trying to uh, trying to. They, they they try to advocate for the disenfranchised and for uh, uh, empowering the disenfranchised um, through medical te medical advancements, technological advancements, magical uh, advancements, um, and trying to uh, trying to force uh, city states and governmental bodies and and, and organizational or and governmental organizations and stuff to provide more accessibility for the disenfranchised and the downtrodden. Okay. That's as far so as you know. propaganda. Do they have a good reputation then? I mean, that sounds good. Um, it's sort of mixed. Like a, a lot of people that talk about them talk about like that's their message, but they they often get like a they get a vibe that there's something more to it. At least people that come to that come to the island. Okay. All so right. And Meanie Manny. Peas doesn't look like much because Peas doesn't wear his emotions, but Gesby and Meanie Manny tell. Don't look encouraged by that name. Um, I I'm having a hard time. I know I joined them, and then I don't know. Something happened. Um, I was. I was kept in a cage and there was someone, his name was Silos, or still is, I, I think he's still alive. Is he with the torchbearers? I don't know. Have I, have, has Najka ever heard the name Silos in association with the torchbearers? Nope. 
but for two years, he's the only person I saw. Uh, Jeremy, give me a history check from Elafira. Okay. There was... Damn. 11. With an 11. DC was 10. Okay. You, you never, you haven't heard the name spoken out loud, but you have seen a name that might be pronounced that way. Um, C-I-L-O-S space R-E-S-H-I-N. Um, Can you put seen, that in? Yeah, I'll put it in, I'll put it in, the, in the text chat. Um, you've seen that name um, on uh, uh, on information documents from your from your mentor. Okay. Um, as a person of interest, specifically related to the Torch Bears. Not no clue. You don't you don't recall any information other than that, other than as a person of interest. There's a deep deep frown. Uh, there was someone else, but. That that I saw, but they never spoke to me, and I never got their name. It was more like a figure watching. Um, Salos did things. He she kind of like points to her scars. Can can Grouper squeeze her hand? Mm hmm. Yeah. And I'm sorry, Sam, I'm trying to remember how much she remembers. You remember, the only things you really remember are the things that happened when they thought you weren't paying attention. Um, okay. So you remember him talking in like a clinical manner. You remember lots of pain. You remember mm -hmm. incisions. You remember things being put in and pulled out of you. You remember being on a f cold table while being in pain. You remember being in a dark cage. Mm -hmm. And then you remember what I told you about how you escaped. Yes. Yeah. Um, there was pain and he kind of experimented on me. I remember a lot of pain and darkness. And he would sometimes talk to me, but it was, it was not talking to me like I was another human. And then uh, someone came and I'm sorry, I'm pulling up. <laughs> Our notes that we talked about. Someone came and freed me. And the others, there were others there as well. And I jumped into the water and I just kept swimming. It's a how many days swim from the island to the shore? It's it's a week's it's a week's ride by boat. Yeah. Extrapolate as you will. How many days were you swimming for? I don't I don't remember. I passed out. There's there's no way. You swam all the way from the shore of Taldore to moat to far enough out to get picked up by a ship bound for Tuartakala. The ship said that they found her like two days out from the sh out from the coastline. Okay. Two days by ship. Mm -hmm. That's that's insane. You you made it. You sorry, I forgot we're psychic. You yes. made you made it though. You made it. You she'll did. start. She'll start crying at that. Uh, you do remember that you. So you do remember. And do you need me to remind you? Um, 
of the person that rescued you because you do yes i'm I'm trying to find it in the notes and then like it jumped around it was a person that introduced themselves as rook and they basically threw open your cage and the cage of the 12 other people that that were there and said run and that's all you they also said my name's rook i'm here to have me to help you run okay yeah then she will tell them that um Grouper will, as she's crying, it, gently at first to make sure that it's okay. And then if it is okay, Grouper will hold her close. Mm, she'll let him. Name Rook associated with any of my information? Make a history check with disadvantage. Can I also? You know who that is. Nope, apparently not. Damn, that first roll was good. Yeah, there's only one, uh, Elifair, there's only one person you know that goes by the name Rook. Okay. Uh, if you need me to remind you, I can, but. Hold on. Do, 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 do. It's the odd couple theme? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, was that one Nautica? Yeah, no idea. No idea who that who that could be. Probably a code name, sounds like. And sorry, this was the person who rescued. Mm-hmm. Did I hear that right? Okay. Mm-hmm. The person who rescued her. All right. You said you didn't know whether this uh, Silos person was related to the torchbearers? I don't remember. What did he look like? So the... they tear him apart when we find him. You so, remember... Sorry, out of character, does she remember because we discussed what no, she you, you don't you don't volunteered know why you don't... for? Yeah, you don't know what you volunteered for and you don't remember okay. you don't know all why right. you don't remember so... either. Okay. Um as far as appearance, all you remember is a steel mask. That that just had sort of like it was like sort of a grave mask being worn, mm-hmm. um, of just like a emotionless flat face. You think he might have been human, but you're not sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she'll try to describe that. Does it in any way match the good goblin's mech? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> The good we bah, bah, bah. It was us the whole time. The 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 the, he- the helmet of the Aormaton could not in any conceivable fashion be described as a grave mask. Ice knight. No. Um I have a feeling there's a connection there, all things considered. What connection? Between the torchbearers and this individual. Yes. I've tried and I can't remember how I got from there. To, to him. We've been trying heard... to look into them ourselves. It's it's our okay. Sorry, I keep forgetting. It's okay. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. We'll we'll be there while you you do what you need to do. Najka looks over to Elafira. You have more information on this? I the names come across in some of uh, clients have worked for that sort of thing. I've heard I don't know anything much about uh, uh, Silos Russian. That's the, like that's she the, will yeah full body flinch. That's the whole. That's our dude. All right. Yes. And there's some there's some torchbearer thing, but I don't know. I. I never directly was involved in any of that, so so I don't know the details. But all right, I can certainly do some inquiries. She'll she'll what look over. Were well, you involved in? Uh, Shawnee, please go ahead. I just there's no way Grouper yeah. wouldn't say that in that moment. So yeah, uh, she looks over at Grouper. Well, I think now you're going to have to come with us when we head out. Yep. Because uh, the task that I was talking about earlier is regarding finding more information and hunting down the torchbearers. 
if you've got contacts, I want the information they have. I can see what I can find. I don't, I don't have a, I can't just go next door and ask, but I can, I'll look into it. He looks across the group. Did for a while, all of you work. encounter the torchbearers in some regard on your journeys in the past five years? Not directly. No, not direct. I've never, I've never been directly involved with them. But all of you I've, have heard of them. And heard of them, yeah. Of information. Obviously, they're a they're a relatively well known, mm -hmm. like, activist group. They've got a pretty good wall between the public and their any information about them, at least anything yeah. useful. And I mean, got, and they've got a pretty good propaganda machine, it seems. Anyone, anyone who who's putting their face publicly as a activist group doing good, ninety five times out of a hundred, they're not. We know that. I, I, I'm sure most of us who've been out there know this. I don't know anything about them. No, same. but I do have reason to believe. Well, there's a chance that we might have a problem with them. Oh, there's definitely, we definitely have a problem with them, especially if they're associated with- Oh no, we have a problem with them, but there's a chance that we might have a problem with them. I think more How? likely than you, I, more likely than you think. Let me share the information that I've got. Okay. As, as a member of one of the chambers of, of, of Whitestone's organizations, our task is primarily preventing these, she says as she holds up her pistol, from circulating too widely and openly am amongst the general nations of Exandria. There's only so much we can do about it, but we try and keep the more dangerous ones from getting too far out. More recently, we've been getting information from the Cobalt Soul about the Torchbearers. And they've been particularly active across all of Tal'Dorei, but in in particular interest, she's looking at the good goblins, have been particularly focused on scavenging from pre-Calamity ruins. And while moving in numbers, they've been carrying a lot of the firearms that we specifically have been trying to keep out of circulation. We don't know where that they're getting moves them up the list. But... They've got an interest in pre-calamity tech, and they've got a line on very dangerous weapons. I have a passive insight of 16. Does anybody respond involuntarily to any of those names? Uh, it was a lot of names, and I need I need them reread. Uh, Cobalt Soul, Torchbearers, Chamber of Whitestone, uh, Pre calamity ruins, firearms. I don't know if any of those were the things you were looking for. Um, hold on. What is your passive? 16. Okay. How did you reference? Deception is 16. How did you reference you Cobalter? Got... Sorry, work stuff. Uh, that um, the intel that she had received on the torchbearers, a lot of it came from the Cobalt Soul. Okay. Where does that stack up? Like, I mean, exception of 16 versus a versus yeah, passive inside of 16. Does, I'm which, going to I, roll I guess, deception to prevent. Yeah. Which one is the DC? Uh, so, passive is a DC uh, that you're trying to either meet or exceed with an active check. Okay, so, I need so to if roll. You're, yeah, so if you're trying to, if you're trying to not react to Craig's uh, insight, then you need to roll a deception. And and I I think he's more paying attention to sort of what it, just looking around, and that's why I'm saying it's my passive and not my active because I don't right. think the active insight checks here. Yeah. So yeah. So. But he is pretty tuned into you guys. So. From uh, from uh, Ella's, five years ago. From El. From Ella's perspective, let's see. Um, he's currently totally familiar with Whitestone in a. Yep, that's a place way. Um. I think there's probably a not open, not not open like active doing it, but like 
the general shift in body demeanor of what an eye roll would be in terms of the cobalt soul. Like, uh, of course. Um, she basically reacts like a professional thief would react to most of this stuff. What about the good guns? Um, Meanie Manny and Gesby are both. Um, this is, we are acquiring information right now. That is the priority. This is the information we are acquiring. Pease is no longer in the room. I think they are also super low on groupers like passive suspect list. So my my next assignment that I was talking about and that I would be probably likely want to gather mercenaries for is going to be tracking down any lead that my that my handler can provide me regarding the torchbearers. Yeah. So, so like... if, if all of you feel like uh getting back on this. I feel like you're going to want to come along. Yeah, it looks like uh, Captain Leon sent us, a, sent us a missive earlier from the bird. Uh, let us know that working on a lead will have more information soon. Uh, presumably, if we're, needing, if we're needing mercenaries to go with us, there's going to be some form of combat uh, potential. Because... Uh, as far as charming, uh, charming people or threatening people, the two of us alone typically is fine. Uh, but beyond that, Irina will look at Grouper. Would you come? Are you going? I think so. Grouper turns. Nods, turns, and looks at Tenebris. How about you? Yeah, I think I am. Her sort of sighs, which is a very wet sound. Um, looks down, scratches, flop, and says, "Oh." Hey, through the mental connection. I'm going to need to take a little time and write a letter to leave with Father Martin. Can't have my parents showing up without an explanation for why I'm not here, right? And Davina will willingly give him the biggest hug. He hugs her back. I... I'm in. I need to check on some things, but barring, I have a feeling I'm in. All Good. right. Still, before all that comes in, we've got some time to kill. So, how about that trip upriver? As we start to make plans for Yay! the trip of river, <laughs> uh, or whatever you guys end up wanting to do, uh, that's where we're going to end for the week. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Bye. everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.